we compared so many examples of modern population, modern pay, modern apes, to see variability. To, to make approach here through real population biology, not just, you know, just describing some anatomic features. And uh, last week was another papers in Science Magazine. It was more discussion between our group and uh, our colleagues about how many species we have in the Manisi. And we use this one, and I slightly modified. You see here five the Manisi in one place. And here you have far, five chimps here, male, is here females and here males from one place. Could we call it five species? And, and first reaction is how they are different. So, this is another view. So, uh, so we, what we propose that we have these groups, different groups, and in this time period for early Homo, maybe we have different populations. The point is that nobody from our group is questioning works of in Africa. No, simply we never had a chance to have so complete material from one side to look from population perspective. And maybe it makes sense to come back to null hypothesis and rethinking. So rethinking characters which could be seen in group and what could be variability inside of group. Uh, one journalist asked me what it means, the variability, and I used one example as a joke, but then they used it. That if you will find, you know, a leg of uh, Shaquille O'Neal and the skull of Danny DeVito in one uh, <laughs> time, you know. And uh, this is, uh, you know, our, so this, uh, maybe I'm exaggerating, excuse me, but, you know, this is a point, you know, how you could... Even in modern population, we can see difference. And this is also, let me be more philosophical in some way, that this is an opportunity to our field to be closer to the biology and not to be just Indiana Jones science, you know, to be more and more closer to the biology and particularly to the population biology. 